Welcome back guys to another whole house clean and this time pack with me because we are moving. So today I'm doing things a little bit differently. I thought it'd be really cool to try a new point of view so you can truly clean with me from my point of view for parts of this video. So it'll be a combination of cleaning and some moving in all of the rooms. I'll try to explain as we go along. If this is your first video of mine and you like cleaning, organizing, decluttering, or home renovations, or just the moving process, I think you'd like my channel. So hit subscribe and like like before we jump into this video. I try to show you as much real life as possible. This video took place over the course of a couple days, about a week after a plague hit our house. Somehow everyone but me was down with the stomach bug and it was rough. I can't even begin to describe it. I've been pretty much doing just emergency sanitizing and laundry for a week. So things are a bit out of whack here. Not where our table normally is. Time for a reset. I feel like you can get an idea for what happened here, but I'm washing and drying this rug. I'm actually about to take it outside just so it can dry a little bit faster in the sun. A little bit of moving. Our poor flowers. We just need a total reset in here from last week. Like I said, I want to get this rug outside to dry. It was just too much. Our washing machine has been leaving things extra wet. I don't know. So it's just too much for the dryer to handle. Let it set out in the sun, air it out anyway. It was much better. So just gonna let that guy chill out there for a little while while I work on the rest of the house. By the time I'm ready to pick the girls up, should be all dry. Starting off our cleaning here in the heart of the home so I can show you cooking up dinner later. I wanna show like the point of view of cooking. I got a new camera. Let me know if you like the style of this video, seeing things up close like this or what you think down below. For the most part in the kitchen, I use my Dawn Power Wash, that sudsy stuff that you saw in the blue bottle. I love it, it cuts through grease so easily and it just is so satisfying to when it bubbles up and you get to wipe it down. Those purple microfiber cloths are my favorite because they have a scratchier side if you have something that's more stuck on. And then here in my old Windex bottle, I've got my Fabuloso mix and I like to go back over the counters with that. Feels like everything's just more sanitized that way. For day-to-day -day cleaning the glass stove top, I usually use the Dawn Power Wash and my Scrub Daddy here. If you're kind of new to cleaning and you've never tried a Scrub Daddy, it's the first thing you should buy. Love it so much. And you can throw it in the dishwasher to sanitize it when you're all done. So here on the stove top, just scrubbing that off. Another question I got was for a recommendation of a stove top cleaner. I like the Wyman's glass stove top. I use that a little less often than just using Dawn Power Wash, but if you're looking for something specific for it, I will link that down below.
I want to take a moment to thank our wonderful sponsor, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Thought it'd be fun to show you how quick and easy it is to cook up a dinner from my point of view and with a little help from Charlie. HelloFresh gives you everything that you need to make delicious seasonal recipes at home, cuts down on grocery store trips, so there's more time to get ready for this move. Figuring out what to have for dinner every night, night overnight, is one of my least favorite things. HelloFresh cuts out the stressfulness of that meal planning and prepping so we can enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. We've been using HelloFresh here for around three years now and we love the flexibility of it. Customers can easily change their delivery days, food preferences, and even skip a week if you're out of town, vacation, you're moving, what have you. So we might not have a full fridge at the new house, but we will at least know what we were having for dinner, which makes everything so much less stressful. We like to use HelloFresh nights as little date nights if possible. For cooking for the whole family, the girls love to be involved. Even if it's something as easy as opening a bag and pouring things out, there's so much for them to do when it comes to these meals, so it's just really fun. I feel like there's two types of people when it comes to cooking, and I am one of those people that loves to clean up as I cook. So I love reusing the bag for any scraps that I have. The counter doesn't get cluttered, so I am basically done cleaning by the time that the food is done and ready to eat. HelloFresh has introduced us to so many new recipes and favorites that we've been cooking with for years now, just ways of doing things. And I love how I always feel good about my HelloFresh boxes because they keep their employees and their customers safe. They also donated just over 4 million meals to charity in 2020. All that to say, we really love HelloFresh. So if you've been thinking about it for a while and you wanna cut back on your grocery store trips or just make things a little bit easier on you and your family, um, you can use my code, Carissa Cleans It All 12, to get up to 12 free meals across your four boxes with HelloFresh, and that's free shipping on the first box. So visit my link down in the bio for more details. And thank you again to HelloFresh for supporting our family and this channel. After it took the hit, this rug was out of the game for a few days, which means this rug pad collected a bunch of dog hair. That's why I'm vacuuming that off before I put it back down. This is a ruggable rug, so luckily it was washable, and this bottom pad here acts as the Velcro that that top part sticks down to, so I'm about to roll that back out on here and I'll show you what that looks like. question I get is how I get work done while the girls are around. Sometimes they are not. For part of this video, they weren't. And then for the other part, I filled up their snackies. I will link these down below. They're so great. The top part is a snack cup and the bottom part is water. So it saves a lot of dishes. So my answer is snacks. up what I can in here. The day that we get possession of our house, I'm going to start taking over all of these baskets or just loose items that don't really need to get packed because they're already in baskets. I thought, well, let me just drive those over there. And then the next day we'll have our moving truck coming with movers to take all of the large items in our house that we don't really want to move ourselves. So I'm hoping on taking like many trips with all these little things the day before, but like stuff like this I'll pack in a box. So I wanna pick up here, D sick Emerson's bed. I've washed all of this stuff multiple times. That's just like an extra set of towels last night, just to make sure we were over the hump. We are, no more sickness. So I can just make the bed up, wash those towels again. I wanna start packing as much as I can that I know we're not gonna use. So it's gonna start looking different around the house.
over on Instagram. I'll put a really easy link to get to that in the description box of this video. But basically you catch things a little bit before they happen if I'm ever working on a makeover. For right now it's the move. So we had our inspection last week and we found out that everything is good to go on that. Everything looks good. We don't have any big changes to um, that we have to fix in the house and we're really excited, but I did a little bit of a walkthrough of the house. You can see some sneak peeks over in my first highlight on Instagram if you're wanting to see where we're moving. Um, I'm really, really excited to show you guys. As soon as we get the keys, we will film a empty house tour for you and kind of walk through and explain some of the projects that we wanna start off with. The very first thing that I think I will be doing as I'm tearing it down here, will be putting up the girl's new room in the new house. And I already have most of that planned out. I have a couple things coming in the mail for that. And I'm really excited. I just want them to feel comfortable right away and um, get them all situated before we start working on other things. And like I said, the house is a really good combination of is already nice, but has plenty of space for plenty of opportunities for projects and places that we can just put our own personal touch on it. We don't have these awesome walk-in closets though. So I'm kind of trying to plan out storage for the house. There's definitely a lot of space in storage, some in the basement, but the closets upstairs are those kind of sliding doors. We do have an extra bedroom that we weren't planning on having. And I think that will end up being storage for the time being, but I will miss these big, giant, massive walk-in closets. footage from the very first day I started packing. I'm honestly just so eager to get packing and get moving that I started out with some things that we definitely don't use day to day. There's more decorations. So I packed up these bookcases, even though it feels like I just put them up, I know, but I'm excited. I think these might be going in the dining room at the new house. Um, I'm not sure yet, but uh, this is footage from a different day of me packing those up. And I don't really have packing tips. I just kind of play a game of Tetris in the boxes. These are the boxes, like I mentioned earlier, that I'll just be driving over in my van because they are fragile. We won't put these in with the other moving boxes. And then I went and I took down all of the framed items from upstairs. And I don't know if those will go in the same room at the new house, but there'll be some options. So I guess my tip is start off by packing what you least use because those are easy to get out of the way. All the things on the wall, all the things that are just decor. And as we go over these next couple weeks, I'm just packing more and more that we don't need for the next few weeks. We are down to just about two more weeks on our move out countdown. And another tip I saw on TikTok actually was to pack a bag that you need, basically like a first day or first night bag. So all the things that you would need on your first night in the new house, and that includes like tools, batteries, random things, just use your brain to think ahead. What is it that I always tend to reach for when we're unpacking? For us, that's like drills, things we're trying to hang up, assembling different furniture, basically like a weekend bag plus a few extra things. Just a couple more rooms to pick up. I wanna pack a few things away here in the living room, but pretty much anything that we're not gonna be using. I'll go back into the new living room. 
And I need to take some of the things out of the couch before we can move the couch as well. I don't know if I'll do that in these boxes or not. I leave a tip down below. If you have a good way that you pack pillows, you um, vacuum seal them, just throw them all in a trash bag. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'll probably bring these over on my own again, instead of in the big moving truck. And I'm gonna use the blankets in here to pack up my fragile things. I actually did a quick vacuum over this rug earlier today, and it's now later in the afternoon, so I'm gonna go over this with a slow, a slow vacuum and show you guys what that will look like. A lot of you recommended it in my last video, said that you do that once a week, so I think I'm gonna stick with doing that as often as I can. vacuum canister and remember I vacuumed this earlier today just a few hours ago here's a clip in real time of that snail pace I'm talking about it was so hard for me to be this patient but I swear the outcome is very much worth it if you can be this patient definitely slow vacuum your carpets and rugs Stopped. Look at that. Just look at the lines on that carpet. It looks like an entirely different rug. I went at a snail's pace, like the slowest that I could go. I haven't looked in the back of the vacuum yet, so let's check it out. Look at that. Look how much dirt. I don't think you can see in here very well. This dirt is up to here. That is gross. I don't know if I'm impressed with the vacuum or grossed out. I feel like that looks so much cleaner and so much better. And remember, I vacuumed this a couple hours ago. So as you can see, it's night now. I just wanted to finish tidying up here in the playroom and then I went ahead and packed up a good amount of it, anything that was on the wall that I could pack up. And then I left plenty of things to play with in the shelves down there. A lot of the questions have been about these um, little cabinets. Yes, they are staying with this house, but I do hope to do something similar in the next play area. I'm still kind of thinking that up. If you have a cool idea, I'd love to try something that I've never seen before. Um, we'll have a play area upstairs and downstairs. So I've got a lot of options for things to try out. But I'd love it if you came over to Instagram and messaged me if you guys have any cool pins that you've seen. I'm trying to come up with some creative storage. Um, that's always one of my favorite things to do in a house. So that is pretty much it for this video and this clean. Thank you guys for coming along with me, packing and cleaning. I'm so excited for everything coming up. So if you're new, hit subscribe. You don't miss all that. I will leave you here with a few more clips of me packing some things up from around the house. But thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, happy cleaning. Mm -hmm.